My name is Professor Peter Hill. I'm a child psychiatry and I've held positions at St George's and the University of London and Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children where I've headed departments both academic and clinical. I've got a particular interest in neurodevelopmental disorders which includes ADHD and the sorts of developmental problems that coexist with ADHD. Nowadays, I'm retired from the University and the Health Service, so I continue to see patients privately. I used to work in the National Health Service, but I'm now too old for that. I continue to lecture, and I continue to do a small amount of research. I always wanted to work in developmental child psychology, almost by accident, provoked by an annoying headmaster. I said I wanted to do medicine. So I found my way into developmental child psychology by becoming a doctor first. And I worked quite widely as a doctor. I worked in gastroenterology, in pediatrics, in surgery, in neurology. And so I did a wide range of medical conditions and specialties, but it was always children that I was interested in. And I also had a burning desire to be a psychiatrist. It was mental conditions and the functions of the mind that interested me most. So I trained as a psychiatrist, and then I trained as a child psychiatrist. Though I had a background in general medicine and in paediatrics, and I've got higher qualifications in both. I became interested in ADHD when I headed up a department at St George's in the early 1980s when I seemed to be the only person there who'd got a serious interest in developmental paediatrics. And I worked in the Child Development Centre as well as what was then the Child Psychiatry Clinic and rapidly became one of the then three centres in the country who were interested in treating, particularly with medications, children with ADHD, though we knew it then as hyperkinetic syndrome. My current role in UCAP is to act as somebody who has been involved in the ADHD field as an opinion leader for really quite a large number of years. Uh, I've been treating children with ADHD for 40 years now uh, and I've um, seen the development of the science and understanding of ADHD and I'm actively involved in treatment and in advising on services. So I believe that my role is to act as a moderately senior figure. I'm old enough uh, to comment on historical trends and current science and how they interlink. When I was at Great Ormond Street, I designed a job for myself that effectively meant that I only saw referrals from other consultants, paediatricians and psychiatrists. So I got used to seeing complex cases. So when I retired from the NHS, I continued privately to see complex cases, mainly children who other people couldn't manage to understand or couldn't manage to fix. So I tend to see complex cases of ADHD, and that usually means comorbid with other conditions or an ADHD-like picture arising on the basis of unusual brain conditions. The work I currently do follows two streams. Firstly, I work as an active physician treating children, many of whom have ADHD. Perhaps half the children I now see have ADHD, usually in combination with other problems. The second stream is as a lecturer and advisor on ADHD and children affected by it. I've always had a research interest in service development and service evaluation and I continue to lecture, talk and advise on those topics. 